Napa, I am fucking Napa, I am Napa, I am fucking Napa. <laughs> Is this thing on? Welcome back to Big Mouth and fancy seeing you here in June. A very welcome, my friends, and especially my enemies. No touching. I don't do the touching. All right, come in for a hug and welcome to Tuesday night's preview of Love Island. And there's a few things I want to discuss. I want us to listen to tonight's first look. And I also want to talk about Women's Aid's quote about Joe, which was really got me butt hurt and wound up. So we're going to talk about that right now. Are you ready to listen to the first look of tonight's Love Island with me? Let's give this a go. No, we're not going to do that. Oh, shit. What have I done here? To save one islander from each couple. I just feel that me and Danny aren't moving as quickly as the usual couples I When you look at him, do you feel like you look at him like, I really want to kiss you? Like, that's the thing. Some days I'm like, I look at him and I'm like, I really want to kiss you. I don't want to jump on you. And then there's some days where I'm just like, don't feel anything. If someone came in tomorrow, mm. would you get to know them? Not in a polite way, but not in a head could be turned way. Not at all. But what if they wanted to get to know you? I'm not going to be offended by whatever you say. You do know that, right? How's it going with Elma? I like her. Who are you more like to want? I don't know. I, I, I haven't decided. It has literally been a date. I find myself in between, uh, yeah, two quite different options. I still haven't had a chance to speak to Mora. I just, I'm just disappointed in myself because I would literally let her say what she needed to say. It almost just seems like she was just looking for an argument yesterday. No, I think she, sure she was definitely fishing for something. I don't think Daddy grabbed him for a no. chat, did I? Like, I mean, you can't just claim people. It doesn't really work like that. And they're not even in a bloody couple, them two. Like, maybe him, go on. He's not that f***ing special. Do you know what I mean? Like, Jesus Christ. Um, I just quickly wanted to grab you for a chat because I mean to catch you today. Mm. What upset me more than anything is that you said that I didn't have girl card. But you were saying to me that I wouldn't, I would never have done that to you. I would never have done that to you. But you literally did that to Molly, babe. They were not together. For more, I yeah, but you and him are not together. Can we please all gather around the fire pit? Yeah. The public have been voting to save one islander from each couple. So that means either Elmer or Anton and either Lucy or Joe will be dumped tonight. Wow, it's going to be a dramatic night. And by the way, just in case you haven't seen tonight's first look, while all that's going on, Amy is going like that, fucking praying that Lucy gets dumped from the island. Right, let's talk about you one day and Danny. Is, it is Danny, right? Danny's a stand-up guy. I really like Danny and I really like what he said last week about welcoming people and not being, you know, twats to them. But, right, you one day is trying to contrive some problem here. So she's talking with Anna and Anna goes, when you look at him, do you know, do you, do, you, do you feel it? Do you want to kiss him? Right. So all relationships are about kissing and feeling excited, you know, 24 hours a fucking day. These people have got such a childish mentality towards relationships. So she's asking him if someone new came in, would you get to know them? And he's being quite honest. He's saying no, not in a head turning way, as a, in a polite way. And she's going... Well, you don't have to tell me what I want to hear. Listen, you one day, you're stirring something that doesn't need to be fucking stirred. You're getting on. He's a nice guy. You're probably not going to be able to get with any of the other lads. Do you want to be in this process or not? Sometimes I do feel, I mean, look, Love Island is absolutely scripted. There is no question about it. So what about Alma and the Mora kind of beef, right? So even though... Alma is, is Alma, right? Or oh, whatever her fucking name is. The Essex girl, right? Um, she did make a good point. You know, Molly, you did the same fucking thing to Molly, mate. So, you know, I love Maura. She cracks me up. She reminds me of my mates, my girl mates. But 
She's been a bit of a hypocrite here. And basically, she's just been dumped by someone. She hasn't been chosen. And she's desperate to remain in the process. And she's feeling the, the pressure. And, you know, she's um, basically um, taking it out on Alma. But Alma, right, is like going, well, like yesterday she was going, oh, I like, um, I like Anton and Tom the same. And now Tom, Tom's fucking milking this. He's playing, you know, he's, pl he's playing, you know, um, Alma and Anna off of each other, right? The funny thing is, there is no way Alma survives that kind of knockout situation. Her, her and Joe are going tonight. I can't see any other scenario. And if there is any other fucking scenario, I am going to be fucking livid. I tell you what, right, feminists will use anything in the public eye to, you know, to build their agenda on. And they don't care who gets fucking her. So this is Max Wilkins, right, who's, I think, a friend, yeah, a close friend of Joe's, right? So let's look what he has to say on here, right? So he quote tweets what Women's Aid have just said, right? So he goes, as a close friend of Joe's post, like, uh, these are the hardest to read. The force of this 22-year-old kind and genuine lad coming out of the villa to see how an edited TV show has portrayed him to be manipulative and possessive, and for him to have to look at posts like these. Um, yeah, I mean, I agree with him. It is a shame, and I want to just, I, want, I just want... So, basically, he also, he also says, support for Love Island cast after the first show, and now everyone seems to have forgotten. If one member can be kicked for accidentally kicking another, I think Joe would have been removed from the villa if the other cast saw him being emotionally controlling. He has always been respectful to women and everyone that knows Joe would agree. He's the most supportive, sensitive and thoughtful person you can meet. Right. So let's see what these these this this, this these women's aid say on their post, right? Controlling behaviour is never acceptable and we're pleased to see more and more people spotted the early warning signs on Love Island, right? This is fucking ridiculous, right? I, you, as you know, I called out Joe for what he did to Lucy. And he, what he said to Lucy, he was telling her that she needs to start hanging around with the girls. He was kind of pressuring her not to hang around with Tommy. That was wrong. But are you fucking telling me his behaviour incites a reaction from women's aid? Are you being serious? And where's the big outrage from women's aid? For the relentless bullying and controlling behaviour from Amy. Is there anything? Can you find anything on their post? No. Because she don't have a sausage dangling between her legs. She's a woman. So she can get away with it. This is outrageous behaviour. Yes, I'll call out Joe for what, what he said to Lucy. She's under enough pressure and he put a lot of pressure on her. Fine. But for them to come out and call this lad out and, you know... I totally, I totally agree with Joe's mate here. It is absolutely freaking ridiculous. But I want to know what you think, boys and girls, and you in between. Who do you think's going tonight? Is it, is it Alma and Joe? Is it Anton and Lucy? Who's going to stay? I hope if it's not Anton and Lucy, it's a fix. It's already a put up job. But if, for Amy to get her own way here would be absolutely despicable. So I hope that does not happen. Anyway, I will see you later. I'll be on my I'll be in my boxers ready and a bit tipsy to react to tonight's Love Island. Please, please, please keep Anton, my good friend Ant, right? My friend, what's happened? Right. Anyway, yeah, please keep my good friend Ant and Lucy in this process because them leaving would piss me off and you would see an absolute explosion from me on my reaction. I shall see you tonight where hopefully my throat's a lot better. Maybe a beer or scotch might cure that.